I never thought that I would ever, 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 ever have to make a video like this. And this is definitely going to be the hardest video that I've ever had to make. Cameron Clifford is opening up about the death of her husband. Just days after the YouTube star confirmed on social media that her husband, Landon Clifford, had died at the age of 19, the mama too posted a heartbreaking video sharing the details around his passing, preferencing it with a warning for anyone who may be sensitive to the issues of mental health or suicide. He was always just kind of going through his own stuff that he just didn't really feel comfortable with sharing. And he has had mental health issues for as long as I have known him. He suffered from anxiety and depression. He has ADHD, which he has had since he was a little boy. So his whole life, he's always just kind of struggled with his emotions and just the way his brain was wired. Cameron explained that when she got pregnant with her second daughter, which she noted they both wanted, Landon started falling into a depression. She said that as a result, Landon went to see a psychiatrist and he was prescribed medications. But Cameron explained to her followers that the prescriptions were addictive and Landon fell into a quote, vicious cycle. When their second daughter Delilah was born back in May, the internet star said they experienced a brief bliss. But things quote, hit us hard after adjusting to life with two kids. So they took a break from their popular YouTube show, Cam and Fam, and Landon went to stay with his family to work on his mental health. They eventually reunited and were practicing healthier habits, and Cameron thought things were getting better. But on August 13th, Cameron could tell something was off when her husband started to apologize for everything they went through. And I could just tell he was putting a lot of blame on himself. And I talked to him and I told him that I loved him and that I forgave him and things are different now and we're on a new path. And I gave him a hug and a kiss and told him I love him and that it's okay. And that no matter what he ever did, I would always love him and be here for him. Later that night, she found him unresponsive in their garage. He was not thinking rationally. He's a very impulsive person. He always has been. And he does things without thinking. And I think he felt guilty about how everything has gone for the past year. And I think he just felt like a burden and like we'd be better off without him, which is so far from the truth. And I wish he would have known that. I'm heartbroken. Colette is confused. There is no way that we're better off without him. Landon was declared brain dead just a few days later on August 18th after spending days in the hospital in a coma. If you or someone you know is in a crisis, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 800-273-8255. Text HOME to 741741 or visit speakingofsuicide.com resources for additional resources.